Hello guys and welcome back to another video. As you can hear, that's not my real voice. And why is that? Today's video is not about voice cloning, but we will look into with the Koki TDS, how we can generate speech for multiple languages. Many of you have asked me for that. If we like the tortoise model, unfortunately can only generate speech for English language. But many of you asked me if it would be possible to generate speech for German, French, Italian, Hindi, I don't know, many languages. And today we will use Koki TTS to generate speech in multiple languages. I will show you how to do it. The thing is, we can't really use a specific voice, but we will have like a given voice and can generate speech with it. So it's not voice cloning, it's just speech generation. And unfortunately, like voice cloning is a little bit more difficult. So there are not many voice cloning models for languages other than English. I will in future videos definitely look into from a theoretical perspective how we could train a voice cloning model for language other than English. So if you would be interested in such a video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. It helps me creating even more content and videos. And yeah, as most of my watch time right now is from non-subscribers, I would really appreciate if you yeah subscribe to the channel and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Okay, enough talking. Let's jump into the Colab notebook and I will show you how to generate speech for a specific language or the language of your choice. And here we are in our beautiful Colab notebook. As you can see, and as many of the videos already that I did started, we will have to clone the Koki TTS repository, like the GitHub repository, and then install our required dependencies. This is quite a common pattern that we will actually always kind of face in Colab notebooks. This is just because we access like a remote session or like computational resources from Google. And since we're not working on our local computer, each time we then have to install required dependencies that are not already in our environment that we have here. Just as a quick <laughs> reminder or why we always have to do it because some ask in the comments if there would be a workaround, if you can avoid that. But unfortunately, in the Colab notebook, we always have to repeat those steps each time we start the session again. Okay, yes, so first we cloned the GitHub repository and now we're installing all required dependencies and then we can move on to the more exciting part of the, of the video. Okay, now that we have installed all required dependencies, we can get an overview about all available TTS models provided by the Koki TTS repository. So if we execute this cell, we will get a list of all models that we can use to generate speech. And as you can see, there's one multilingual model and then there are always like country codes. So for example, this would be all models that are generating English speech or I don't know, French speech, Spanish, I see German. And yeah, since this is quite a bigger list and I wasn't like confident in all the country codes. I installed this module called PyCountry and this is what I love about open source because you're never alone with a problem. Often somebody else has already faced a similar problem and then published to the community. Now we can install it and what I then did is highlighting the language for each model. So depending on the country code we can determine the, the actual language and that we will see here and this cell. So what am I doing here? At first I'm importing that um, yeah, module that we install right now here and then I will create a set to have a unique list of all the languages and then we will loop through the uh, list of models that we already had here and split them by a forward slash so that we only have this part each time. It's like uh, yeah, each string has the same pattern so we yeah, know which one this is. And since one was like multilingual, as you can see here, we have to basically catch that case and say like if, if there is a country language given, then we print it out. And then, then I'm using the module actually and accessing the language, the country language, by giving to the module the country code. And then we just print first the language and then the model name. 
and I also added the language name each time to our set so then we can compute for how many different languages we can actually generate speech for using one of the Koki TTS models and yeah this then our output so you can see we have Bulgarian, Czech, Danish, Estonian, Irish I think this might be Gaelic I'm not sure where this country code is for but you can see you know there are plenty of models for different languages I hope the one you're looking to generate speech for is also in this list so we have in total 29 unique languages which is a lot in my point of view here you can see the unique languages we can generate speech for so yeah i really like the koki tds library it's pretty awesome for how many languages you can generate speech for and it's all free also many thanks to the to the authors of that library and yeah now let's start generating speech so first <laughs> i'll show you how you actually uh, generated the introduction of this video or the intro it was like you know hello guys and welcome back to another video was the string I put in and I used this model to generate English speech and I know many of you are not in particular interested in generating English speech because we already did that with the tortoise model and I think the quality of that model is definitely better than of the ones you will find uh, in this video but still it's definitely faster than the tortoise model so yeah in case you're looking to generating like multiple hours of speech this could definitely also be worth trying one of those english models in the koki tds library okay and this is done now yeah so what i did here is i said the gpu is true so we are using the gpu to generate the speech which is definitely faster than using just the cpu I tried it myself and I, I did it with German speech. The GPU took like 17 seconds while when I used the CPU, it took like four minutes around. So there's definitely huge difference. I mean, like this is the benefit of using Colab. You know, we always can use GPUs. So yeah, this will definitely fasten up the generation of your speech. And okay, so what will happen here? Uh, we yeah assign the model that we are using for generating the speech. And then we will pass our text, which is stated here. And as an output, yeah, you can choose whatever name you wanna have. I just called it intro because I used it as an intro for the video. And then we can just run the cell. First, now we have to download the weights of the model, which will take a little bit. But if you have executed this cell once, next time you don't have to download it. So it will be way faster to generate spe speech afterwards. Okay, nice. And now we generated the speech. Let's listen to it. And for that, we just execute the next cell. And yeah, now let's listen to it. Hello, guys, and welcome back to another video. Yeah, I'm like you heard it in the intro already. It's if we compare it to the tortoise results, not the best. Also, if you haven't watched that video, I will just highlight it right now <laughs> at this point in the video. But um, I promise you that we will also generate speech for different languages. So what I will do right now is generating speech for with a German model because you know my mother tongue is German so I can pretty good tell if the quality of that generated speech is good or not and what I did then is I uploaded a speech file so I translated the file I used in the last video for generating speech just to German and we will yeah, now run this statement. Yeah, so we will read the speech German text file and this is split it by different lines. And what we will do here is to combine those different lines just by blank. So we have basically in one line, the whole text of this text file. So we run this cell and then we can also check if everything worked out by just printing the text. And this looks exactly what we needed to generate German speech. And the next thing that we will do, we will jump to this cell here i already stated like the model that i would like to use anytime you want to generate speech for a specific language just what i can recommend is trying out different models because i definitely got the best results with this model but um, for example i tried several english models and some were definitely better and some were worse so if there are multiple models for your language, I would recommend to check out all of them to make sure you get the best speech quality. Okay, and then you just copy this string and 
paste it here as your model name. And this is the same as before. And then we can run this cell. All right, I rerun this cell to just show you that within 18 seconds I could generate the whole text uh, using this model, which is compared to the Tortoise model way, way faster, which took like 10 minutes. And now we have only 18 seconds, which yeah, it's uh, definitely a huge change. Okay, and now let's listen to the generated speech. I know many of you won't understand German for sure, but we will just listen to the first seconds and maybe just try to figure out how, what you think about the naturalness of the voice. And yeah. Das Klonen von Stimmen ist eine Technologie, die die Erstellung einer synthetischen Version der Stimme einer Person ermöglicht. And I think this is really, really good. It sounds very natural. And like as a German, I can also say it sounds not even like it's generated. It could be from an actual person. So I really like this model. It uh, produces or generates really nice German speech. Of course, it's not, for example, my own voice. It's like a given voice. But that's, yeah, what I wanted to show you in this video. And as we saw, we have in total 29 different languages we can generate speech for. You can always use those different models. Let me know in the comments what you think, the quality, because many models I can't really tell if they're good. And all right, that's it for today's video. I hope it will help you generating speech in the language that you would like to generate speech for. As you maybe can see, it's already dark outside. That's why the lightning is quite bad right now. I spent half day producing this video. So if it was helpful for you, if you liked it, please leave a like. I would really appreciate that. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.